One of my absolute favorite things to do living in Seattle is to go to coffee shops and have heart to hearts with girls. Girly, I know, but I love it. So let's say you and I were at a coffee shop and we were having one of those girl talks and I asked you, now what if you really believed that you were loved? Not just like know it in your head or you've been taught that your whole life, but actually believe deep down in your heart that you were loved, that you were wanted, that you were pursued, cherished. Now, I think a lot of us don't actually believe it if we're honest. Looking back at my life, I can see um, I started to walk with the Lord when I was 15. And when I look back, there's about this, there's this kind of dark season. Um, kind of off and on from 16 to 22, where I struggled off and on with an eating disorder. Now, although I would say one of the main issues in that for me was a control issue, just whenever anything in my life was out of my control, I would turn to eating or the lack thereof. Um, but if I'm really honest too, and I go a little deeper, if I had really believed that God loved me, if I really believed that He had called me to freedom, freedom by His love, and if I really believe that He pursued me and wanted me regardless of what I look like, of what I did or what I didn't do, I think that would have been drastic, I would have been drastically different. Um, I think it's so hard in this day and age where our culture just throws all these things at us as women about who we are, who we should be, or what gives us value and worth. But ladies, what if we actually believed that we are who God says we are and that we belong to Him. All these desires that we have bubbling up in us are good desires that we, we want to be loved, we want to be wanted, and that ultimately that is fulfilled in Jesus, that He satisfies us, that He loves us regardless of what we do or what we don't do. And it's a scandal to believe that in this day and age, but let us be women that do that, that believe Him for what He says is true over us. And if we're going to be women and ladies who change our communities and change our schools and our um, examples for this next generation of girls coming up behind us, we have got to start believing in what God says about us, that we have to believe that we as women are spoken for. Mm -hmm.